Right, we're now inside the museum, and behind me we have a fantastic example of the uh, of early engineering. Now this is called the Fowler K7. It's one of a pair. We have the uh, other one sort of part behind this. This currently is undergoing its health and safety inspection. Now, effectively, it's a mobile powerhouse. And in its day, it was used A for plowing. As you can see, underneath it has the winch wheel. The, this wire hauser would be connected up to a plow. In fact, both engines would be connected to a plow that would drive to opposite ends of the field. Once in position, they lock their wheels, signal each other using the whistle, which is a big arm on the top. Who would, and on doing so, they would then start to turn the winch wheel, which would pull the plow towards the engine, plowing the field at the same time. Now, this is up to 10 furrows, which gives some idea of how powerful the engine it actually is. So this here, the flywheel, it has a curved face and it could also be used for powering other bits of machinery. So a belt on here could also power uh, either a baler or a saw or any other bit of agricultural machinery. Its maximum speed was eight miles an hour. The big tank here will be full of water. You make the fire underneath here. Uh, and, and that in turn would feed steam into the steam chest here. It's a compound engine, so the steam is used twice. First into the high pressure cylinder, and then discharge into the larger cylinder. And then by these arms, it then turns all these various gears to do what you need it to do. One more thing, it has no power steering. 